Okay, looks like I'm live. Let me just pop this open, pop that open. <sighs> All righty. Oh, let's get everything moved out of the way here. Scooch that, scooch that. Hi, hello, hello. Hello, Circle E. Hello, AJF. <laughs> Prices are definitely up. I need to recoup my losses. Can you guys let me know? Hi, Uncle Mike. Can you guys let me know how the audio sounds? Um, I have a couple of settings that are a little bit different, and I'm not sure how I'm coming through. I don't know if I'm too quiet or if I'm too loud because I don't have monitoring on. If I have monitoring on and I hear myself talk, I, it totally messes me up. <laughs> then I can't talk. It's so weird. Uh, let me pull up this over here, okay? Uh, sounds good. Sounds fine. I think <laughs> that's super confident. 10 by 10. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well then I guess let's, uh, oh boy, get, uh, get started here. Yeah. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of anything other than reordering stuff from the shelves. I have been, as Rusty says, relegated to the back rooms. Oh, God, maybe not the back rooms. That'd be terrible. I don't ever want to end up in the back rooms. Nightmarish. But uh, yeah, it's just basically going to be uh, a whole lot of this and a whole lot of reordering. I also <laughs> I also may have gotten another mod. Um, I had to. I had to. I couldn't deal with carrying in 60 boxes at a time. Amazon Junior. Yeah, really. So if you see that, okay, I can't put that one away now because it's occupied by a restocker, which means I can't put that away. But if I pick up a box and then I hit L, it automatically goes to the shelf. It is so nice. It is so nice. The only time that doesn't work, I haven't unlocked the storage yet, so the floors are definitely different. Yeah, so that's from the storage room mod. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm missing half of the ceiling and my floors are completely and totally different. Um, but yeah, so we'll put the peanut butter away. There we go. Fantastic. Oh boy. All right. Uh, I guess I should probably turn on the lights. Excuse me, Brad and Brent. I'm just going to walk on top of your heads. Okay, how's everything else looking here? Ugh, I have to help them. I have to help them restock. Like, they can't restock fast enough. It's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. We need, like, four more restockers. And I was actually looking for a mod to uh, see if, um, <laughs> if there was a way to get more because I need, like, eight. Uh, let's see. AJF said, did the Daryls ask for a hiring bonus to come back after getting laid off? <laughs> no, uh, no, no. They were, they were quite happy to come back to work without being paid a bonus. So that's good. Um, man, this Mayo has been selling out for like five days, like crazy. But if you notice, we're up to $28,000 which is phenomenal. And I need a total of 90. Oh, hold on. I did the math earlier. Uh, I need a total of 95,600. Um, to get the cheese, these boxes going through my head to get the three expansions. Cause I don't want, I don't know if I said this in my video at all. I, I may have said it in the video I started recording today, but then gave up on because my mic was being a, a, a poop. Um, but I'm not going to focus on getting any more license, licenses, licensees. I, I don't know the um, 
the multiple term for that. Clearly, I am very tired. My brain is not working very well at the moment. But um, yeah, I don't want to focus on any more license. I just want to expand for right now so I can get the store layout how I want it. And then I can worry about adding more shelves and then more products. But as it is, it's getting completely out of hand. What pasta am I out of? Oh my gosh. Oh, you don't have any mods for the game. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. I needed to. I needed to. I couldn't I couldn't deal. <laughs> Could not deal with the size of the storage room. I've got um I think I have three. I've got the storage room mod. I have the portable scanner mod where I can just walk up to a label, middle click it and scan it. And then I have oh, the no max item count. So I can order more than 10 items. But that's also chaotic in and of itself. So I did a humongous order earlier today and I lost a couple packages up on top of the fire escape. I had one that was stuck up here on top of the sign. Thankfully, we've got mad hops in this game. So I was able to just jump up and get it. Um, they also end up across the street, which is great. Uh, definitely have to watch out for these yellow ones because they don't stop. They don't stop. Yeah, you avoid the cones, but you don't avoid a pedestrian, you jerk. Okay, let's see. How are we doing back here? Okay, we obviously need all of the pasta. I keep selling out of pasta like like crazy. Um, oh, and it's 9 o'clock, so I can't even order anything. Oh, my God, we have $30,000. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm so happy. I need money so bad. I need so much of it. Oh, that no max order account would definitely come in handy. Dude, seriously, it is so nice. But it's so as soon as oh my gosh, we still have so many people. <laughs> as soon as um as I can order things in the morning, I'm I'm just gonna do a gigantic order. Let's see, what else can I get? That way you guys can watch it all fall from the sky. And it's, it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Like, I love it, but it, it is ridiculous. Uh, we'll grab another one of these. Two, three, four, five, six. We'll just order an extra one. I accidentally misclicked. What's over here? Oh, yeah. I kept some empty boxes. I started sticking them on this shelf over here that doesn't have anything on it. That way I can, because I did not get the pocket box mod. <laughs> funnily enough but um hello hi darling I figured you'd be going to bed I gotta say your stream looked so much better oh my gosh so much better like even with the screen tearing it was a world of difference looked so good I love chilling in your streams Average Gamer Network, hello, hello. Got the BHE and low. Awesome times, awesome times. Um, oh, oh, that's it. That's the rest of our customers. Okay, so one product, not, two products found expensive. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to adjust some prices here. Oh man, income of $8,000 and then I spent half of it on restocking. So, I mean, three grand is better than <laughs> no grand. You're watching from bed. Aw. <laughs> this is true. Okay, so we've got a price adjustment on milk and I think that was a beer. I didn't quite catch that. Uh, the milk price is fine where it's at. And I have so much beer and I didn't notice which one it changed the price on. So I'm going to have to go in and change or check all of them, which is always a fun time. Oh, this one went down. Okay. So we'll do 26, 20. No, no, we'll do 26, 30. Yeah. I've also decided since we have, oh, by the way, by the way, we have our fourth Okay, so this was supposed to be in today's episode, but then recording kind of just got pushed to the side after the mic fiasco. Um, but yeah, so you're hearing it here first, folks. We have our fourth cashier, 
And Yoda has named him Bryce. So everybody say hello to Bryce. Hello, Bryce. You look just as sullen as the other three. So we've got um, Brent, Brad, Bryce. No, yes. Bryce and then Brandon. Jeez, even I can't keep them all straight. <laughs> and they're my workers. The milk from the fridge is what changed. Oh, really? Oh. Good call. Thank you for catching that. Oh, man. Yeah, I really need to make a profit. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of, I had my sugar. Where is it? This one was still set to a dollar for like a week in game, and I had no idea. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to pop in here. So we have a whole bunch of items. I don't even know how many is in here. 38. We have 38 items. We're going to purchase it. We're going to run outside and you can watch them all fall from the sky. But yeah, I have to do it. <laughs> I have to check and make sure nothing is stuck stuck up there. But they'll end up like all the way down the street. All the way across the street, like these things over here, and then you just hit L, and then boom, it's in your, uh, oh boy, it's already occupied by a, a dude. Um, toilet paper, fantastic, okay. But yeah, you just hit L, and then it's magically on the shelf. It's so nice. It's so nice. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so much easier occupied by restocker. The only thing... That I'm not a huge fan of is that it's like, oh, well, if there's a restocker there, we're not going to put it in. But I understand. That makes sense. <laughs> I've never seen the animation for it. It just flew out of my hand and onto the shelf. Hold on. I got to see that again. What's this one? Bleach? Ha! <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm <laughs> very entertained by this. Oh, that storage mod is so nice. I, I don't know how y'all are dealing with the vanilla storage. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. It was a struggle. It was a struggle for sure. Okay, so that one is full. We'll just leave it on the sidewalk. And our sidewalk chicken is now shelf chicken. And what else we got here? Our elbows cleaner cereal oh gosh it's so much easier I don't have to make 3,000 trips it is a lot of packages I ordered 38 things all at one time and also hello Gracie Solomon how are you so nice to have you here for our super chill super late night stream <laughs> At least for those of us on the East Coast. Um, boy, do I have to help them restock anything over here? Maybe the big papa cakes. And a couple kegs of beer. All right, I'll grab the... Uh, oh, I'm going to need some more sugar. And ever more pasta. The rate at which I go through pasta is insane. Get some more bread, another box of cereal, maybe another thing of honey and peanut butter. Two more packages of that, I'm sure. I probably already ordered it. No, I did not. Okay. I'll grab all that. And, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so nice. It is so nice. I love it. I love it. Whoever came up with that mod is a genius. It is a little late on the East Coast. I might have to tap out soon and go to bed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you just stopping in. I really do. I figured if Lowe was done and I'm just going to be up grinding anyways because I've been at this all day trying to get all my money back. But I figured if there was any uh, other night owls out there that wanted to chill, I'd be here. I'll stick that. No, I don't have all the mods. I only have like four, three or four. I lost count. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very tired. And I can't keep track of any more numbers in my brain. <laughs> 
I, okay. So I was having issues with my mic, as I've said about a bazillion times already. Um, and I thought it was the software I was using. So I decided to go ahead and learn about equalizers and all of the different settings and what a bell curve is and what a high pass is and what a low pass is and um, a high shelf and a low shelf. And I played with all the other settings and I, cause I recorded three videos today and all of them sounded absolutely terrible. And there was nothing I could do to fix the audio quality. And it wasn't until like an hour or so ago that, um, that, you know, my, my boyfriend came home and I was telling him and I was, he was like, you know, do you think it's the mic? And I was like, I have no idea, but he has a mic. So he let me use his and it was a co completely different as I'm sure you can probably tell. I probably sound a little bit better, a little bit clearer <laughs> and not as crackly and terrible. So normally I'm up for a late night chill stream, but I have stupid work. Oh, stupid work. Work is stupid. Well, maybe Lo will become a super famous YouTuber and you can retire. Right, Lo? Okay, we'll put, uh, yeah, I already tried putting that one onto a shelf and that does not work. Okay. And that rack is also full. Okay, do I need anything else? I'm over here talking and not doing what I should be doing. Because in real life, I talk with my hands. Like even, <laughs> even now, I like I just stopped moving because I had to pick up my right hand to show you that I'm talking with my hands, even though you can't see me because that's my brain. Oh boy. Hello, Pasu. How are you? I'm so happy you could make it to this uh, impromptu stream. So happy to have you here. So happy to have all of you here. You sure did. I wasn't even going to go live, but after low streamed, I was like, eh, I'm going to be up all night trying to get money. So why not? <laughs> it's a lot less lonely when you're streaming. Because I'll, I'll be relegated to this for a while because we need $96,000 and we only have 28. <laughs> oh. Boy, okay. I think, I think everything is restocked enough where I can finally open the store. The sidewalks are a bit busy, but I don't know if that has any effect on the amount of customers that start coming into the store. Oh, oh, for real, yeah. Selling everything for a dollar really set me back because, like. As you saw in the montage, I spent so much money restocking all the shelves so that I would be able to refill everything that got that got sold the next day. Um, and it was terrible. I took such a hit. I only made, what was it, like 1300 I know. I know, Lo. I'm so grateful. Uh, but it was like a, a double-edged sword because like, yeah, it's great that we get a lot more customers. But when I decided to do the April's Fool, April Fool's Day thing where I'm going to sell everything for a dollar, yeah, it ended up, <laughs> yeah, that ended up biting me in the tush. So, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's, we'll get it all back. We'll get it all back. I did it for the bit. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Exactly, Steph. But yeah, I have adjusted my prices. I've decided, and I, I don't even know if I've already said this, but since I'm not running the cash register, I don't have to worry about dealing with pennies and nickels and all that stuff. They have to. So I'm just going around and making the prices like a few cents more than the market price. Yeah, so I've got like 310 and 370, which I would n never normally have. But since I don't have to deal with it and those guys do, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Hydration break. Girl, you got to get a uh, pasu. You got to get it. It's it is so much fun.
I apologize if you hear me chugging. I can't quite hit the mute button on this one. <laughs> yeah, whoever designed the mic, like, A, it's a nice mic, but whoever decided to put the mute button inside of where, like, the microphone is being held on, like, these arms, you can't get your finger in there to hit it. <laughs> it was it was not thought out very well, I don't think. So it is exactly low, exactly. It is so much fun and very, very addictive. I love your water display end cap. So realistic. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I have really, really, really big plans. Once I can expand a lot farther. I have really big plans for making it actually look like a grocery store. I want my freezers set off to one section. Um, I'm going to have like a complete other section just for cleaning products because I, I don't even know how many, you know what, let's pop in here. I haven't even looked at the licenses in a bit. Yeah, so there's one, two, three, Three more cleaning product licenses, which will uh, take over an entire, well, sorry, lady, I didn't mean to stand inside of your head, um, which will take up an entire aisle itself. So, man, it's so crazy seeing how many people are coming in here now. That update was so good. So good. I think it'll help me learn how to count money because I never worked as a cashier IRL before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll definitely, definitely give you some practice. Um, I, so I used to actually work at a gro grocery store, but I was not a cashier. Um, my first job when I was like 15, I started at a local grocery store and I went through training and I was basically just a bagger, but I was going through training for cashier, but that just didn't pan out. Um, and then later on, eventually I worked at a grocery store again Oh, good night, um, Average Gamer Network. Good night. Have a, have a good night and sweet dreams. Thank you. I'll catch y'all later. Um, but I ended up managing a salad bar area for a grocery store. And that was interesting. <laughs> that was super interesting. Can I put that away yet? No, I cannot. Okay, what am I missing back here? Uh, I could get some more Big Papa cakes. Another thing of chips. Uh, two more of the milk. Man, it is so much easier keeping myself stocked just by middle clicking. It's so nice. What do you think about Let's Game It Out's Infinity Money Tricks? I have no idea. I haven't seen it. I I'll I'll be completely <laughs> I guess that means it's my bedtime too. Okay, Lo. Have a good night, sweetheart. I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. Um I haven't really had a whole lot of time to catch up on other YouTubers since I started recording and since I found um this amazing community. Because if I'm not watching Rusty, I'm watching Low, or I'm catching Circle E Gaming. Oh, also, I got to do a shout out. Please, 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 if you are not already subscribed, go check out Rusty Champagne, Low Plays, and Circle E Gaming because they are awesome. Oh, and Uncle Mike's Gaming too. If he's still here, I have no idea if he took off already, but if he did. I So I actually... Um, have Stardew Valley. Oh, love you too, Lo. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Um, I actually have Stardew Valley and I played a little bit of it. And I, I, I don't even know why I stopped playing it, but I did. And yeah, I could pick it back up. I mean, I also picked up Kebab Chefs. So that Kebab Chefs was a video I recorded today. And um, I recorded that one twice <laughs> and that did not work out very well. And then I partially recorded a video for Supermarket Simulator and then obviously that didn't go very well. So yeah, but I could definitely add um, 
Stardew Valley to the list of games. Oh, you got it, Lo. But yeah, I um I I honestly don't know why I stopped playing it. I think I think probably oh, I think Lens Island came out when I had picked up Stardew Valley again and I got completely sucked into Lens Island for like two months. Store was, yeah, yeah. I so I <laughs> when I'm playing and I'm not recording, I never turn the lights on. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, we're we're stuck in the dark for a little bit. Like I know Rusty has his murder corner. My whole store is just a murder store. You like you don't want to come in here. <laughs> okay, I should probably do another spot check back here. Uh, I don't know if I added that to my shopping cart already. Let's see. I did not. I'll add a couple more. Stardew Valley can be kind of hard since there's so much you could do, but. Usually, I just watch beginner guides. That's a good tip. Yeah, Um. let's see. I don't think... How far did I get? I think I got to the point where I found... Was it a wizard's tower? I think it was a wizard's tower. And after I got to that point, I that's when Lens Island came out. And I just dropped it. Not because I didn't like it, but... um. Yeah, I just got completely distracted, <laughs> which happens a lot. I think they're actually handling restocking okay right now. Maybe because everybody stopped shopping. <laughs> it's a night vibe with all the glowing tags. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, actually, you know what? I should probably add a couple more lights. Oh, gosh, I, I hate it. I hate buying lights. I hate spending money on lights. Oh, oh, okay. So I am going to be adding another mod. Um, Seeing the freezer just reminded me. There is a mod that lets you hold up to 16 chicken in one freezer. And I figured, yeah, you know what? I'm probably going to do that. Because that doubles your storage space. Stupid crab sticks. You're not real. Over here imitating food. Oh, come on. Come on, uh, Brent. You got this. Scan a little bit faster. Oh, time for water. Oh. I think you would like the Junimos in Stardew Valley. They're so cute. I'm going to have to Google this because I have no idea what a Junimo is. Is that those little critters in the um, community center? Junimo. Oh my gosh, it's like a little dancing apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah, exactly. Not even crab with a K. Like, they spell it with a C, but it's not even crab. It's it's just white fish with seasoning and food color. Your dead eye employees are ready for bed. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, we're good. We got no more customers. Okay, great. So no products not found. No products were found expensive. 81 customers. Wow, look at all the store points we're getting. That's just madness. We made a good chunk of money today. 35,000. Okay, steak went down and Rapico went up. Whoo, yeah, it did. We're going to go up to 370. And where is our steak? Here it is. Oof, oh my gosh. Steak went down like crazy. I'm only making a dollar fifty and profit off the steak. Oh, that's horrendous. 
horrendous. They're milking that overtime, bring people out slowly. I know, I know, I know. So that's also another mod I was looking at getting was the uh, sped up cashier mod where they cash people out faster, which would be nice, but I don't want to overdo it with all the mods. Because um, somebody, and I, I can't remember who left the comment. You know what? We're going to just sit here and look at my box of, that's either moussaka or lasagna. I don't know. You tell me. Um, somebody left a comment. I think it was on the poll. Saying I should branch off and do a mods series. And if we had multiple save files, I would absolutely do that. Oh, I still have low stream up on my phone. Let me uh, let me close out of that. Okay. And I feel like such a boomer. I'm I'm struggling here. Okay, <laughs> I found it. Um, should be a comment in here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't there. Okay. I can't remember where the comment was, but somebody suggested it was you. I thought it was you, Pasu. Oh my gosh. It was like, I know it's somebody and I know it was either, it was either you or it was Steph and I couldn't remember who left that comment. I'm so sorry. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, do you think that if your prices were a little bit lower, not significantly, but do you think people would buy more? So, um, do you think that's okay? Do you think that you got more customers when things were a dollar? I don't think so. So the customers sort of fluctuate a little bit, I've noticed. And I'm not like super over. Oh my gosh, my water is way too cheap right now. Um, we're gonna jump that up to 285. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm oh my gosh, this water too. Uh, we're going to put that to the 280. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it within a few cents above the market price and nothing too crazy. But I did notice that the amount of customers that come in every day kind of fluctuates. It's anywhere between like 80 and uh, 90. So is that a whole bunch of cats in a box? How did you get those emojis? Those are so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's all of my cats. All of my cats love to hang out in boxes. And boy, do I have a lot of cats. <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, and three. We definitely need some rice. Hi, Yoda. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, wait, I still have a whole bunch of things. Yeah, I've got 40 items in here. Oof. Oh, yep. Yep. That one I'm not getting until the end of the stream. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, this one's occupied by a restocker. Stick that in there. Got our sprite. So when Rusty, okay, I have read the patch notes for the new update myself, but when Rusty read it out loud, it did not hit me that um, the Sprite always had a lower bottle count than the rest of the sodas. I never actually noticed that <laughs> until he said something when he was reading the patch notes. Even though I read them myself. You have three dogs. Oh, how, okay. Uh, how many cats does everyone have? I have two. Steph, I appreciate your two, but I'm going to raise you. Uh, I don't even know how many cats do I have? Okay. Hold on. I have to actually count on my fingers again. Okay. There's Neebs. There's Mama, Thick, Absro, Simon, Pepper, Miss Kitty. I have seven. So I, I see your two and I raised you five. Or seven. I don't know. I don't play poker. I don't know how that saying is supposed to go. The rack is full of chips. Well, that's good. The rack is occupied by restocker. I'll just stick that in there. Okay. 
pizza and sugar. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Oh gosh, this is so much easier. Oh wait, that's light. I can't put that on a shelf. I gotta put that in the back rooms. Boop. What kind of dogs do you have, Circle E? Those are chippos. Those don't go there. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, if you missed the announcement of my mods, I have the restocking mod where you pick up a box and you hit L and it goes flying out of your hand and into the, uh, shelf rack thing. Boom. Boom. It's so nice. It is so nice. Yeah, after ordering like 60 things at a time, I, I had to, I had to get this one. It was getting, oh my gosh, box in the face. All right. It was getting ridiculous. I'm always out of coffee. Always. Always out of that coffee. Uh, Grab another thing of sugar. Flour. Oh my gosh, I'm out of ketchup. I'm always out of ketchup and mayo. It's crazy. These people are mad. Which other storage mod? I'm not sure. The rack is full. All right. Occupied by a guy. It's fine. I'll put that there. How about you? That is full. How about you? Oh, that can go in. And some more Pablo sugar. The rack is full. Huh. All right. Oh my gosh. I have bleach out here. I forgot I had. Can I? Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> I order it directly goes to Oh. I should have gotten that one. I should have gotten that one, Yoda. I don't know what I was thinking. Standard poodles, all black, Sherman, Piper, and Diesel. Oh, I love their names. <laughs> You know, I, okay, I always wanted a bulldog named Diesel. Don't know why, but that's always been a dream of mine. And I love that you have a poodle named Diesel. That is so great. I should probably help these guys restock a bit. Oh, wait, did he already get the chips? I think he has a box of chips. I can load these ones up, though. Nope. Oh, am I okay? Is this box empty? It is. All right. I can go toss it. And let's see. I've got red flower. That can go up there. And what am I missing up here? Oh, chicken. Chicken. I should probably grab some more chicken. And a pizza. And I think... Oh, wait. I need a little sushi. A couple of big sushi. And that should be fine. The rack is full. Stick that there. It's fine. Occupied by restocker. Ugh. Man, maybe I should get that other mod that Yoda's got. Oof. So let me ask Yoda if you um <clears throat> if you over order a product and there isn't space on the shelf, does it go onto the street or does it like not let you order it? Uh, 
let's see. Don't shoot all over yourself. <laughs> you, you sound like one of us, Yoda. I almost said that to my therapist today. You're shooting all over me. <laughs> should, should, should be taken out of the dictionary. I was just talking to someone else about that word 30 minutes ago. Aw, uh, is he? Yeah. Oh, it stays on the street. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be a tomorrow thing. <laughs> I'll swap out my mod. Because it'd be great to have it just automatically go there. I don't even know if I said that phrase right. Uh, chicken <clears throat> is going to stay. Sidewalk chicken. Coffee. Can go right up there. More coffee. Even more coffee. What's across the street here? Sidewalk chicken and bleach. Excuse me. Please let me put my box down. And more sidewalk bleach. Why do I have so much bleach? I went on a bleach buying frenzy, apparently. Uh, candy. Shampoo. Oh, I should probably turn on the lights. There we go. And what am I... Oh, the window. <laughs> yeah, it's not me if you don't get stuck. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me again. Stupid bleach. I'll put you here. Oh, that's so nice. Scanner order, poof, onto the shelves and done. Next. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah, definitely going to have to get that one. <laughs> the rack is full. Okay, so this one will come back here. And I think everything else is just bleach and chicken. The rack is full. I don't have any space back here. Can I put this down on the ground? I can. All right. Great. Up to 38,000. I know. Hold on. I never understood window chicken. It's sidewalk chicken. Well, but window chicken lives underneath the window. I mean... I can understand your point. <laughs> it definitely lives on the sidewalk, but it is also underneath the window. Yeah. Um, so I think it makes sense. What about across the street? Do I have things across the street still? I don't think I do. Yeah, I think I got everything. Those are just uh, decorative boxes. Oh my gosh, that really messed with me. Like, what did I drop over here? At first, I thought they were bricks. Yeah, no, I think, we, I think we're good. You should merchandise the bleach next to the chicken for the people that want to properly clean their chicken before cooking it. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, Rusty has, uh, well, had bleach potatoes. I suppose I could rock some bleach chicken. Actually... What is my chicken next to? Beer. I have beer chicken. And pizza. Yeah, beer chicken. All right. That's what I thought. Oh, my gosh. But I thought I was misremembering Yoda. I thought he had it in the freezer underneath the window. But then I was like, oh, that might have been someone else. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't be asking me questions this late at night. I'm, I'm useless. Like, I know Lo thinks that she's useless when it comes to technology, but man, once 10 o'clock hits, my brain just shuts off. <laughs> it does. Beer batter chicken does make perfect sense. Do you have chicken nuggets? He did when he had a baby store. It's, um,. I don't have chicken nuggets. Why don't I have chicken nuggets? Are chicken nuggets a thing? 
Oh, now I'm curious. Uh, management, licenses. It is licenses. Okay. Got green beans, ice cream, vanilla, ice cream. Wait a second. That's got to be a flavored, right? Um, pizza, potato pop. I still don't know what a potato pop is. Veggie mix, cheese, clotted cream, rice, sugar cane, yogurt, cleaner, dishwasher, dish soap, lemon, cake, chocolates. Oh, chocolate spread. Sounds delicious. I wonder if that's like Nutella. I love me some Nutella, especially Nutella and peanut butter. And me and Yoda were talking about our favorite peanut butter spoons the other night. Fabric softener, paper towels, toilet paper, books, cakes. No, there's no nuggies. How can there be no chicken nuggies? I got the Frenchie fries. I need the chicken nuggies. What the crap? I feel like I'm, I'm being uh, gypped here. Nutella is super addicting. Super, super addicting. I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> My name is Bad Wolf and I am addicted to Nutella. Yeah, I put on like 10 pounds over the winter because I ate like four jars of Nutella and peanut butter together. <laughs> You've never had Nutella. Do you like hazelnut, Yoda? Because, and okay, I'm going to warn you guys right now, I vape, and I'm about to hit my vape, so possible loud noise incoming. It's not an almond joy. It's Nutella, and it's delicious. And it's chocolate and hazelnut, and it is heavenly with peanut butter. And if you are, like, I'm oh, I'm about to find out where you live, and I am sending you a care package of Nutella and peanut butter. Because you, you're, you're missing out. You're missing out. <laughs> All right, let's see how he did. We had 82 customers. Free products not found. Why? Guys, just work faster. Restockers, do your jobs. Still made 3000 so that's not terrible. Uh, oil went down. Ground beef went up, though. Oil. Uh, $4.90 for the oil. And then run over here to the ground beef. And we'll do $9.70. Okay. I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and open. These guys are going to struggle anyways. I think getting gypped is a racial slur. Although it's something I've heard all my life and I don't think it comes from a bad place. Uh, is it? Oh, because gypsies. Oh my God. I never even made that connection. Oh, well, you know. Listen, it's a thing, and I'm old, so <laughs> I'm probably just going to say it. All right, I should probably help restock a few. Oh, my gosh, I'm almost out of Parmesan. I should probably order some more stuff. Uh, I'll get another box of this, some more tuna. Ugh. Oh, wait, that's hummus. There's the tuna. Blech. Our little eggs. Um, ice cream, all the kegs, oh, what market, there it is, 27, oof, oh, I go through so much money. crazy. Oh, excuse me, sir. 
The rack is full. Can I? Yes. I can absolutely restock. Get the beer out of the street. Look both ways so we don't get hit by another taxi. Sir. Rack is full. Can I restock the shelf? I cannot. Can I put this down? I can. Oh, good point, Yoda. Yeah, because I always thought it was J-I-P-P-E-D, too. But I don't know. Soda or pop, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so funny that... um that everybody, uh, basically everybody in Rusty's stream is like on that whole debate train. It it was so hilarious watching that. Like I use it as an adjective. Like I have to pop outside or I got to pop out of here real quick. Like it's an action verb, I think. I don't know. I'm not an English teacher. <laughs> so bad with words and grammar. I'm sure someone will correct me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, I think I needed one more there. We'll grab one more here. Grab another here. Another hand soap. And... Ooh, I'm out of this oil. And the brown sugar. And the fake milk. Oh, 44 items. Oh, bully. Did I lose any more? No, just the one thing that's still stuck up on the, <laughs> on the fire escape. Uh, well, I looked at, oh, wait a second. I mean, getting gypped is a bad thing. Gypped is not a bad word. I agree. Well, I looked it up before I said something. The affirmative came from the University of California. Oh, well, I mean, it's California. According to California, everything gives you cancer and everything is a crime, so. And they got people pooping in the streets. I don't know, not to be political, I just don't take California seriously as a state. <laughs> At least most parts of it. The rack is full. How much toilet paper did I order? Do I have boxes down here? No. No, I don't. Oh, I got boxes down here, though. Another toilet paper. How much toilet paper did I buy? Oh, my gosh. You might have Papa Murphy's for pizza, which is tragic, but you also have In-N-Out, which is fantastic. Ooh, I, you know, I don't remember, uh, cause, so I used to live in California when I was a child, but I don't remember an In-N-Out. I do remember a Jack in the Box. Wait, it's a place you go to order an assembled pizza, like at Subway, with sandwiches, but you take it home and bake it yourself. What? What? I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't realize there was a Subway for pizzas. Yeah, that sounds like DiGiorno, but with too many steps.
Oh, I should probably turn on my lights. It's dark out. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me, guys. I'm just going to walk on top of your um, eggs. It's fine, though. They're indestructible. Indestructible eggs here, guys. Buy them up. I'm going to have to restock the crab sticks. We're getting low. Man, I used to love Jack in the Box. I haven't had that since I was like, geez, when did we move? Since I was like 11, 10 or 11. Okay, that toilet paper can get put away. This one can get put away. How about you? You too? All right. And you as well. Nice. Oh, wait. Got a box of flour down here with a bag of trash. It's perfectly fine, people. It's perfectly fine. Oh, boy. The honey is getting low. Let me, uh... Oh, another box of flour. The rack is full. I'm going to stick this back here. How about my Pablo sugar? That can go in there. Definitely need to order honey in the morning. 41,000. Oh, my God. Oh, let's see. Steph said... Oh, wait. Hold on. Circle E said we have Jack in the Box here in Idaho. Oh, lucky. Lucky. I wish we had one out here. Um, Steph Breeze, Jack in the Box is trash food, but in the best 3 a.m. drunk way. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a step above McDonald's, honestly. But then again, okay, so when I was a kid, we didn't get to have like takeout all the time. It was like a, um, a special treat when you got to have a McDonald's thing or something like that. So it was, it was nice. So I really remember Jack in the Box as being like this special treat. So it could have been just garbage food, but because I only got it every once in a great while, it was just heaven to me. Um, can I just say, I love how we all support each other and are getting to know each other. You can't do this in just Rusty's life. True. True. Yeah. You guys are all friggin' awesome. Like, just the absolute best community. Like, I got to say, earlier today in Rusty's stream, watching everyone go bananas with the membership giveaways, it was, I've never seen that before. And Yoda, you had said that in his chat and you just nailed it. You nailed it. That was completely bananas. I've never seen so much love like that before. It was incredible. We have egg rolls, tacos, and curly fries. Oh, my God. I love curly fries so much. Oh, now I want Arby's. Oh, okay, we got to stop talking about food. And I just ate dinner. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. Can I? Do I have any more beer back here? Oh, I have tons. Why are you guys not restocking? You guys need to restock faster. <laughs> Imagine going into the local grocery store and you see the owner walking across freezers. <laughs> it just now hit me that I did that. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably turn right around like I'm not shopping here. <laughs> oh, man. Where does my bleach go? Oh, it's full. And also, I could just hit a button to put it away. I, oh, jeez. Okay, we're at 43,000. Last customer just left. Two products not found. These stalkers, wow, 7936. Oh my gosh. 
slowly getting there. Okay, Masaka, flour, and cereal. Honey O's. All right, six. We'll go with 680. Farine flour. Oh my gosh, this one went down like crazy. We're going to do $6 on that one. And I'm only making $1.64. Ugh. Uh, it was flour, cereal. Uh-oh. I've forgotten the last one. Um, I don't I don't know if that's what the deal is. But I mean, they could put a little extra pep in their step. I'm paying them like a hundred dollars a day here, which I'm, probably isn't great. But uh, yeah, I don't remember what the last product was that had its price changed. Um, pop into here. Was it a cheese? Okay, the farine flour. I got um the honeybees moussaka that's it okay the moussaka went down got it okay down here 1357 ugh we'll do 1360 all right and we'll go ahead and open Come on, money. Uh, I run across my freezers. None, nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> exactly, exactly. What does that say? Lasagna a la bolognese. Okay. Two galettes. Yeah, okay. I'm just butchering words now. I'm not... What is that? French? I, I don't speak that, so I have no idea. I'm assuming that's ham and cheese. Uh, otherwise, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not worldly. They work 13 hours a day, so that's 7.69 an hour, seven days a week. Well, you know, <laughs> I run a tight ship here. Let's see. Okay, we got to get the honeybee cereal. Oh my gosh, I'm out of the uh, chocobo. Oh wait, I already ordered that. I need peanut butter. I need honey, sugar. Oh my gosh, I really was not paying attention to the stock room at all. Grab another one of those. Oof. No, no, no. Stop it. Oh, why did I jump? <laughs> the person who made the cashier's faster mod might be able to speed up the stalkers. I'll ask. Oh my god, yes. Please, 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 please. Because that would be amazing. Like, we either need more stalkers or we need faster stalkers. Like, I feel like I could use at least another eight people working the stock room just to keep up with the uh the demands but i think once i am able to expand the way i want to expand and then i can have all of my products going vertically down on each shelf like i used to have it'll be a little bit easier um, for them to keep up with and I wouldn't have the uh, product not found issue anymore because there would be an actual surplus on the shelves. Um, let's see. Why don't we have any traffic? It's weird that there's no cars. Oh! <gasps> Is that a car accident? What? <laughs> Dude, you were getting sued hardcore. Do you see what you just hit? That's like a, a Lamborghini? I'm not sure. 
I think it's Lam dude, you're getting sued. I don't know what you did. Oh man, how did you even pull that off? I didn't realize there were car accidents in this game. Was Sheila just hopping down the street? That was interesting. So they take home eight hundred and ninety-five sixty-three a week. That's forty hours at regular time, fifty-one hours at time and a half. Yeah, I'm bad at math, so <laughs> I wouldn't have put all that together. Cannot fit that on a shelf anywhere. Okay. I think that one is also full. Also full. How about the honey? Scatty? Can I put the scatty? No, I cannot. I'll just put it here on the floor. All right. Hello. Oh, no. What am I out of over here? The Masaka? Grab another one of those. Oh my gosh, the Mimolet cheese. How do I have three pieces in two boxes? That's just so wasteful to me. Salmon. Uh, I'll grab two more things of fries. Another two things of eggs. Four chicken. Keg. And I think that's good. Oh, no. Wait, I need all the toilet paper again. Oh, what's this going to cost me? $2,000? Oof. Oh, boy. What a mess. Yeah, I really got to get that mod where it just automatically goes onto the, the racks. Occupied by restocker. That's such a pain. Fries, more masaka, chicken occupied by a restocker. I'll just run it back there. Let's see here. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You scan the shelf. So um, I've got the portable scanner mod. So all you got to do is like middle click on the label and it'll add it to your cart. And then there was an update to it today. Where you can scan right from here as well, which was not working in the previous version. How is it nighttime already? Oh, oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry, um, Bryce. I'm just gonna jump off of your head. Use it as a platform. Occupied by a restocker. Ugh. I guess I could just run it back there. That's fine. I just want to ask, and several people have already asked in the comments, great minds. Yes, exactly, exactly. And I had downloaded the um, faster cashiers, but I did not install it because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it. But I think I might. Occupied by a restocker. All right, we'll just put this one in manually. Where are my eggs? Right there. How about now? Still occupied. All right. Uh, you were so happy with your mod until you found out you wouldn't have to do anything. <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. I, it's the rack is full. I thought it said it was occupied by a restock. Oh, my gosh. The checkouts are full. <gasps> we haven't had that problem in a minute. Okay. Um, I guess. Oh, do I want a mirrored one? I don't think I do. I'll grab this one. Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I was going to help check you out, but uh, that's not going to happen. Um, so that means that it will not 
zerp the box onto the shelf automatically if it is being like if the restocker has a box off of it. So that one just zerped onto the shelf uh, up there. But if I, let's see, that toilet paper is full. If I, I don't have anything I can use as an example. Oh, here we go. Okay. If I take this box of lasagna and it says occupied by restocker, it will not let me zerp it onto there because he took a box off. But if I go with the other mod, it'll just automatically place them there, I guess, which is phenomenal. Oh, we need chocolate. I've got 12 pieces of chocolate left. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, ooh, sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Hey, revealing shirt lady. How are you? Uh, bread. That can go in. Cereal? No, the rack is full. Toilet paper. I'm sure the rack is still full. And what's this? More floor bleach. Let's see. Any spots available? No, there is not. Well, how's our detergent doing? Two, three, we'll grab some of that. We absolutely need to get some chocolate and some potatoes. Hey, I have sort of like a half bleached potatoes. That's fun. Grab some salt and some pepper. One, two, three. And one and two and three of those. And oh my gosh, I'm out of little bread. Okay. All right. 46,000 though. Let's see. Your mod developers were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Oh, excellent quote. Excellent quote. Man. Jurassic Park is such a good movie. I mean, it's not, but it's, you know. So I was watching Rusty the other day, and I was wondering what would happen if you put a box onto the shelf while they were restocking, and they came back with another box. Is that a question? So let me reread those. So I was watching Rusty the other day and I was wondering what would happen. The stalkers don't put boxes onto the floor. Oh, okay. So what they do is they will go to like, okay. So if he took a box from over there, right? And there was a box of fries taking up that, that spot. If like the whole thing was completely full up, he would come over here and put it here and replace the bread. But supposedly the devs fixed that so i think he would put it into an open slot on another shelf uh hydration break Welcome back, Circle E. Um, so I didn't have that issue where they were stuck if the thing was full. They just walked away and then replaced whatever spot I had open. Replaced whatever label was there. Um, but the issue I had with them getting stuck was if I moved where a product was. So if I moved the ketchup to this shelf. They would go up to the ketchup and then they would just stand there staring at it, wondering what to do with the box of ketchup that moved one shelf over. Am I out of customers? I am. All right, let's end the day. 179. Oh, boy. $4,100. That is not too shabby. Okay, that's a big one. Cake, chocolate, coffee, steak. Cake, chocolate, coffee, steak. 
take. Chocolate. Coffee. I don't remember which one it was. Oh boy, this one, okay. And steak. Oh, I'm getting low on steak. 12, 55. <clears throat> oh, you've got a tornado watch? That's not good. Um, okay, so when I lived in Texas, anytime we had one, I would take a mattress and then I would go into my bathtub and I would put the mattress on top of me. Because, yeah, we didn't have basements because Texas, where you have to water your house because the foundation will fall apart. <laughs> it's fun living out there. Oof, that's a big order. Just falling from the sky. Oh, that's that's a cash register. That's not going to go on to a shelf. Um, I suppose we could just put it right there. And why is my camera going off? I got a bun bun in the driveway. Um, boy, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff and I feel like I probably didn't even scratch the, surf the surface of what I need to actually get. You know what? How empty are my shelves? Uh, kind of sort of empty. I should probably let them work before I open the store. The rack is full of chocolate. Okay, so let me restock. <clears throat> yeah, tornadoes are not fun. I hate them. I hate them. I used to um, work at the mall when I lived in Texas at this kiosk. I was a manager for this place called Aqua Massage. <laughs> and um, it was basically this giant machine that you would get inside of. It, like you would lay down. It was like this bed. You would lay down and this... Um, like it was sort of like a tanning bed where the the top would fold over you but you would lay down on your stomach and uh there would be jets of water that spray across this um like vinyl tarp that covered you so that you obviously didn't get wet and uh it was right beneath the glass ceilings which was also right next to the glass elevator <laughs> And we got a tornado that touched down not too far from the mall and the sirens went off and there was literally nowhere for me to like take cover at. So all I had was like this really flimsy, um, very shoddily put together, uh, desk. So I had to like crawl inside of the cabinet and that, and that was, uh, that was fun. Let's see. That on the floor. I got no space for it. I think I over-ordered. <clears throat> Since Joplin, I always batten down when the warnings go off. Oh, absolutely. Uh, 
you can never be too careful when it comes to a tornado. They're so unpredictable. Okay. Huh, this mostly empty shelf always throws me off. Let's see. Oh, I don't need... Uh, I do need three of these. I need two of those. I need one more of these. Potatoes and elbows and more pasta. I'm out of pepites. My gosh, I'm out of tea and sugar and more coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm out of all the coffee. Okay, good night, Uncle Mike. I didn't tell my husband we were hit by a tornado because he was in the Air Force overseas fighting the war. He called three days later screaming at me. Why didn't I tell him? Oh, my God. Um, honey, there's nothing you can do anyway. I got this life of an Air Force wife. Oh. Oh, Yoda. Oh, come on. I just wanted to finish restocking the coffee. Where do I even put this one? Up there. Okay. What am I kicking? Boxes, clearly. The rack is full. Oh, I overordered. That's right. Oh, now what am I out of over here? Toilet paper. Jeez. I never have enough. Yeah, I like the idea of getting that other mod where I don't have to keep smashing L over and over and just have them <laughs> magically appear in the, uh, the shelves. That would be great. See, like he doesn't tell me when he's almost hit by a roadside bomb because he doesn't want to worry me. Fair is fair, right? Oh, good point, Yoda. Man, that is... I can't imagine. You have to be so incredibly strong to be able to handle all that kind of, you know, anxiety and fear in your relationship give you oh my god rusty <laughs> hi rusty oh my god i just broke i'm sorry <laughs> hello how are you this evening what are you doing up so late <laughs> oh wait no you're like an hour behind right yeah an hour behind me at least it's still late what are you doing <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm not crying. You're crying. Whew. Uh, okay. Chocolate. Chocolate is full. Is my shelf of chocolate full? I don't even know. It is. <laughs> It's going great. How are you doing? Oh, man. That was shocking. Shocking. Did not expect to glance over and see your name and pop up in my chat at all. <laughs> I appreciate you coming. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I think we're, we've got to be restocked enough to open the store at this point. Yeah, freezers are looking good. The bear, the beer, the bear, the bear beer is looking a little bit low, but I guess I could help with that. Ugh, 
gosh, I really do need more restockers. They're so slow. I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying. <laughs> Southern Illinois has tornado watches tonight as usual in April. I'm going great. Just splicing together a video for the morning and glad to be able to catch a live of yours. That is so sweet. Oh, I'm super excited for your next video. Can we uh, get a sneak peek of what game it is? Or uh, is it going to be a, a surprise upload? Where's all my beer? Oh, geez, here it is. Hydration break. Okay, and I cleared out that box. So it's Garbo. And I'm opening the store. Come on, guys. A little bit faster. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's almost midnight. I'm going to have to <laughs> I'm going to have to call it soon. Holy crap, I didn't realize it was that late. It's going <gasps> Oh my god! Yay! Oh, you're not you're not um infringing on anything. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's such a um it's a great game to make videos out of, especially if you want a short video because it's uh uh, I, I know you get it because Supermarket Simulator takes so much time to get anywhere in this one and your videos end up being anywhere between half an hour to 45 minutes to even an hour long. Whereas Countryside Life, you can make a video in 15 minutes. It's really nice and it's such a chill game. I'm really excited to, to see yours. I'm super excited about that. Good night, AJF. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Oh, well, I'm glad I could provide entertainment for you. Huh, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit, a uh, little bit red right now. All well, verklempt. Is that how it's said? I don't know. I <laughs> Did I not open my store? I didn't open my store. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm standing here. Like, why am I not getting customers? Oh, because I didn't hit open. Yeah, my brain, it, it stopped working. It stopped working. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. I need money. I need money. I'm like, I don't know. I can't do math. What was the total I needed? 90,000? Yeah, I'm like 50,000 away. I need to catch up on your carrots, Wolf. <laughs> she is truly broken. Truly, truly broken. Um, Yeah, carrot episode was was cute. I like the way, oh man, I got to say, I love the, the way they, uh, they designed the vegetables in that game. Also, the dev popped in to my stream for Easter, which was incredible. And I was talking about not being able to sell my car <laughs> and AJF came up with the idea of parking it in the market stall and seeing if someone would come up and buy it. And the dev was like, you can't sell your car like that. And I was like, well, how do I sell my car? And he said he was going to implement a way to do it um, in the coming days. So that's awesome. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Steph. Ugh. Cool as a cucumber. You mean half asleep? Can I zerp these? I cannot zerp these. How about my chocolate? Can't zerp those in either. Okay. No, those are also potatoes. All right, back to the floor you go. Can I zerp the cleaner? I cannot zerp the cleaner. Uh, all right, 
I should probably look and see if I can help them with anything. Yeah, no, I'm I'm closed, lady. I'm closed. Sorry. I know, I know. It was super shocking. Super, super shocking. I, I didn't even know that uh, he was the dev until he was, like, giving me tips. Like, you can take the lantern. If you see the boat dock, there's a little lantern on the boat dock. And you can actually take it. So he told me that. I had no idea you could take that lantern. I didn't even know there was a lantern there. I was more, um, you know... Uh, into looking at the boat that just sort of drove around in circles out in the ocean lake. But yeah, there you go. Pro tip. You can take the lantern from the uh, boat dock. Uh, I suppose I could grab the mid eggs. Do I have... Oh my gosh, I'm out of big sushi. And the little sushi I need to replenish. And the Frenchie fries. I'm okay on the floor, chicken. Some beer and vodka. And oh my god, I'm all out of the new beer. And the wine. <clears throat> oh, I'm glad I wasn't the only person that didn't notice it. What am I doing? Why am I running in the back? I could just zerp all these up. Did I lose anything anywhere? Oh, that one box. That one box. Can I... Come on, I got mad hops. Oh, oh. <gasps> I'm going to try to stack the boxes. Oh my gosh, why didn't I think of this earlier? Uh, whoo, here's one. Can I hop? Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I am determined now. This is... Oh, people, get out of my way. I have a box on a roof I have to get. Do I have another big box? Is it nine? It's not nine. I can order a gigantic box. Oh, wait. I have a box of potatoes right here. You are going to go up. Can I do it three high? If I do this. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I got another box of potatoes right here. It's a good thing I ordered all these extra potatoes. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, can I get it? Oh, come on. No. Oh, no. I've knocked over my potato tower. Ugh. The, yes, exactly. It's now a platformer. Oh, come on. No. Oh, well, I tried. I, I gave it a valiant effort, and that's all I can do. I'll have to get it tomorrow when I relog. At least I can zerp up all the wine. Oh, let's see. I figured out your cashiers and stalker make seven ninety three an hour, ninety one hours a week. I never saw this lantern either. I'll have to check it out. Uh, sounds less than a pair of wage staff. Correct. Good thing I didn't comment to him her game her way. Someone needs to make that mod to pay them a living wage. I guess. <laughs> I was try too busy trying to see if I could drown if I walked out into the water. Alas, we all apparently float there. Yes, and I tried stealing the boat, but that does not work either. <laughs> Um, Supermarket Simulator, the platform game. Yes, this is quality streaming. <laughs> Phrases I thought I would never hear. I knocked over my potato tower. Oh, good night, Steph. Thank you so much for coming in, hon. It was so good to see you. Oh, man. Well, there you go.
Oh, I forgot to turn on my lights. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm just going to walk on all of your heads. And uh, yep, there goes your tuna. There you go. Okay. You like tuna with a bit of leather, right? I, actually, I don't have legs, so I have no idea what kind of shoes I'm wearing. I imagine them to be like leather loafers for some reason. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why my brain went there. Oh, man. Okay, can I zerp this away yet? No. How about the chocolate? No. How about the bread? No. Really? No? Okay. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing little bread. I can zerp this. And sketty. Yup. Oh my gosh, I'm out of potato chips again. Forty-four thousand. Forty-five thousand. Oh, still so far away from my goal. Oh, delicious, delicious dragon fruit water. What would the world do without you? Anyone else in this store? No? Okay, it's our last customer. Come on. Come on, uh, Brad. Okay, 45,757 buckaroonies. We only had 71 customers this time. That's so weird. I wonder why I had less. I thought I should have more. Total profit of negative... Oh. Oh. Oof. I'm going backwards now. This isn't good. Oh, man. Let's see. Butter, rice, and chicken. Oh. Butter. We will go up to 60. Rice. I don't know which rice it was. Oh boy, it's this one. Chicken. Oh, come on. Stop decreasing the price on all the expensive stuff. No, that's not correct. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end the stream here. It is after midnight, my time. And as you all could tell, my brain has completely shut down, <laughs> even more so once Rusty joined. <laughs> but I really appreciate every single one of you coming in here and hanging out with me while I try to earn all of the money I lost um, after selling everything for a dollar. Yeah, don't do that. That's a bad idea. As a bad plan, I highly suggest not doing that at all. Um. But yeah, thank you guys so very, very much for all of your support. It means the absolute world to me. You all mean the world to me. I love y'all to bits, and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Have a good night, everybody.